Testing hearing is facilitated by what's called an audiometer and this is an example of a clinical audiometer that's used in uh, lots of clinics throughout the UK and around the world. It's made in Denmark actually. And what this actually enables the audiologist to do is to present signals through headphones. The blue one fits on the left ear and the red one fits on the right ear and present them at known levels so the level of the signal in this case it's showing 60 decibels and the frequency 1000 Hertz and basically if you wondered what that sounds like I can give you an example I'll just have to turn up the volume because at this level of intensity because I'm holding it rather than it being on your ear there you go make it a little bit louder so that's very loud actually if it was on your head but that's a pure tone 1000 Hertz and using the headphones the audiologist can adjust the levels following a laid out procedure the client can't see what they're doing because they're out of visual shot in a, a sound treated little enclosure and the audiologist will be able to determine the level of hearing for the right ear and the left ear using the headphones and that's called air conduction thresholds then he'll move over to using this bone conductor which fits this little disc fixed behind my ear on the mastoid bone he sets his audiometer to provide signals through the bone vibrator rather than through the headphones and again you can hear the signal he will adjust the signal level again using a procedure that's been defined by international convention to establish the threshold for bone conduction so air conduction headphones bone conduction the bone vibrator and when you put the results together the audiologist can then determine whether the problem lies in the outer ear the middle ear or the inner ear if it's in the inner ear it's called sensory neural hearing loss and that's where the results for the headphones and the bone conductor are the same and that's very typical of what you see with adults who present in hearing aid centers they have a sensory neural hearing problem generally in the higher frequencies where the speech intelligibility lies so often they have perfectly normal hearing for the lower tones and then as the frequencies increase in pitch the hearing gets worse and worse and that's very typical of adult hearing loss particularly what we call presbyacusis part of the aging process so the kit's very simple the hardware is very easy the client uses a patient response button as you can see when the tone is heard they press that and the audiologist knows the signal has been heard and he moves on through his testing procedure as a result so there's no need for the dispenser to talk directly to the client and say did you hear that all that happens is before we start the client's told what to do when you hear the signal press the button don't press the button until you hear the signal and that's the way that the threshold is determined and in a previous video I mentioned that this type of test can be done by children to the age of three years now a three-year-old ain't going to press a button reliably but what a three-year-old will do reliably he'll put a man in a boat a ball in a stick a coin in a box he can be trained to do that pretty easily so testing hearing is not hard it's not stressful it's not painful it's good fun and you'll enjoy having it done and everybody should be having a hearing check done every year just like you do your eyes